Hey everyone, it's Miss Ashley, and I have a special guest with me today. This is Luna, our hedgehog. And a question that we get asked quite a bit about Luna is, is she a porcupine or is she related to porcupines? And I think that's a pretty fair question to ask since she does have those spines just like porcupines do, so it's kind of easy to maybe confuse them. And there's actually a lot of animals that get confused with each other. So Miss Bree and I thought it would be fun to do a commonly confused animal series. So we're gonna start off with hedgehogs and we're gonna talk about five ways that they are different than porcupines. So hedgehogs are actually more closely related to shrews and moles than they are to porcupines. And porcupines are rodents, so they're more closely related to like beavers um, and mice. And so the first way that they differ is with their quills or sometimes people call them spines. So first of all, the hedgehog, um, they don't lose their spines the way that porcupines do unless they're babies and they go through a process called quilling, which is kind of like when we're babies, we lose our teeth. When they're babies, they lose their baby spines. And so Luna's actually only six months old, so she actually has been quilling. So I have, don't know if you guys will be able to see very well, but I have some of her tiny little quills that she's lost. Um, but these are really small. When she's an adult, they'll only be maybe like an inch or two long. So they're pretty small. Compared to a porcupine, their spines can be more in the like two to three inch range. Um, so they have, they're a lot longer. And then also, hedgehogs only have like 5,000 quills in their whole body, whereas porcupines have six times that amount. They have 30,000 um, quills on their body as an adult. So that's one way that hedgehogs are different than porcupines. Um, even though Luna is a baby, um, she and so she's pretty small, she still won't get much bigger than this. So another way that porcupines and hedgehogs are different is that our hedgehogs are quite a bit smaller. So adult hedgehogs will grow to be maybe like um, six to 12 inches in length. And they usually have a pretty small tail Miss Brie loves Luna's tail. I think it's her favorite part of Luna's body. Um, their tails only get to be like one to two inches long. They're pretty tiny. But porcupines, they grow to be a lot bigger. So porcupines can be like 20 to 35 inches in length and their tail can be like eight to 10 inches long. So they're a lot larger than our hedgehogs. I think she really, so hedgehogs are nocturnal and I think she really wants to go to sleep right now. So she's trying to find a spot to burrow. Um, all right, so that was the second difference. And the third difference is their defense behavior. So porcupines and hedgehogs have really soft bellies, but hedgehogs, we'll see if she'll do it. <laughs> Come on. They roll into a ball when they feel afraid. She is really comfortable with me, so I guess she's not going to do it for us. Um, but so they roll into a ball and it kind of puts all their spines up and then a predator doesn't want to eat them because who wants to eat a spiny ball, right? Um, but porcupines, they're a little different. They arch their back and that kind of stands all their spines up on like erect. And then they wave around their tail. But a lot of people think porcupines can shoot their quills at their enemy. They can't actually shoot them. They do have to make contact, but they come off really easily. So once they have that contact, they come off and then porcupine quills are actually barbed. So they will stick into the skin and then it's really hard to get them out. So that's another way they're different in their defense mechanisms. So the fourth way that they're different is the food that they eat. So Luna and hedgehogs are insectivores. So as you might guess, that means they eat insects. So she eats a lot of um, mealworms or crickets or various other kinds of invertebrates. In the wild, she might even eat like a mouse or a snake or maybe even a frog. But so she likes to eat um, other critters. She's got this nose that she uses to kind of dig around to find all those delicious insects. Actually, we're going to see if she wants to eat some mealworms. There she goes. See, so she likes insects. Insectivore. Um, and then our porcupines, they will usually eat like fruits, grasses, buds, um, leaves. They're 
herbivores. So they don't eat insects or other animals. They just eat plant matter. So that's the fourth way that they're different. And then the final way that they are different, the fifth way, is their native range. So we actually can't find porcupines, or sorry, hedgehogs, um, in the wild here in North America. You can find them in like Northern Africa or Europe. So she's a North, um, or she's an African pygmy hedgehog. And so they're common for pet species, but not to find out in the wild. Porcupines though, you can find those in North America. Their range is from like, um, Alaska down through Canada and then in the northeastern United States. Um, so you can find them in uh, most of the U.S. <laughs> all right. I think those were pretty yummy. So that's all the differences I have for you. So now you know the difference between a hedgehog and a porcupine.